Good morning, everybody. I haven't been filming for the past few days just because I haven't really been doing anything productive at the house other than putting stuff on eBay and trying to sell stuff on Facebook Marketplace. But I thought I'd give you a little update on how the house is coming along. So this is currently what the living room looks like. Still trying to sell this filing cabinet and the fireplace. All this is stuff I'm going to be putting on eBay. Those are the books I'm going to be selling on Amazon. Storage containers I'm going to get rid of. Uh, I brought in some boxes of dolls that my mom made. I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing with those just yet, but I wanted to get them out of the shed. I brought out the beds, the Singer sewing machine, the other bed, folding table I have up for sale. I did sell all of the metal shelves. Um, it's just a box of paper. I did start bringing in a couple boxes from the garage, which I need to do today. And this stuff here is donation pile. Um, this lamp, probably going to keep it here because I don't have any lamps in the house. <laughs> and I brought in the rest of the fabric from the shed. I just kind of stacked it up in this corner. White shelves I'm keeping. And then all this is eventually going to go out. Um, the comforters I put up on Facebook Marketplace, and if they don't sell in the next month, I'll just donate them. Um, the trees I'm going to try on Facebook, the containers, I'm just kind of keeping them in here for now. I'll probably put those up for sale as well. So... Out here in the garage, these blankets are going to be donated. Stuff on the shelves I'm keeping. And this is all glassware that I would like to bring into the house so I can start sorting it. Uh, shelves I'm keeping. Boxes of electronics I need to take to be recycled. Um, I really want to clear out this walkway here, kind of just bring all this stuff in, um, and then I can start putting this stuff away, kind of organizing this tool area here so I can get this stuff, and all this cardboard here I need to see if I can cram it into the trash bin, I need to clear this out. So that's kind of my plan for today is see if the organ's working, bring in the glassware from the garage. Um, and if I do those two things, I'll consider today a win. So um, I just got back from the gym. I'm going to have some breakfast and then tackle those two things. See if I can get them done before it gets too hot out here. So that's the plan for today. We got Mr. Cat. Eating his munchies. So here's the organ, cleaned it all off, and it still works. Yay! Here's the bench, and this opens up. You can put all your music books inside. It makes this buzzing sound. I'm not sure what that is. like these 
these little pre-programmed sounds. You have like swing, let's see. the tempo the organ uh, I think they bought this around 1980 here I am loading up boxes of the glassware to bring into the house um, hoping it'll free up a lot of space in the garage because it's been pretty crowded in there and I've been doing a lot of thinking about this stuff and putting it on eBay one thing I'm concerned about is if I list all the stuff on eBay and it doesn't sell in the next month or two and I'm going home to my other house, like am I supposed to bring all this stuff with me and then sell it out of my house where I usually live. Um, that's kind of a logisti logistical issue I'm having right now. Um, I know with the fabric I have over a hundred items up for sale and I mean if I go back home in a month I guess I just have to bring them all with me because I need to ship them out when they sell. So I'll do some thinking about what I want to do with that. I know I was planning on bringing most of the fabric down to my house anyway because there's no way I can list it all while I'm up here, it's just too much. Or I might just have to leave the glassware here over the winter and when I come back next summer, sell it on eBay. That's another option I'm kind of bouncing around in my head. And there's still just so much stuff at the house. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get it empty by the time I leave and head back home. But I'll just take it day by day. I still plan on being here for at least another month. I'm still waiting to get the house painted. And that should be happening in the next two to three weeks. Plus, I have all the books I wanted to sell on Amazon. So, I have to bring those down to my house, too. This is getting to be a lot of stuff I'm bringing down to my house. But I'll just do what I can for now and take it day by day. I'm sure my plans will change in the future since they tend to change anyway. And nothing really goes the way I planned it to. So, I'll just figure out eBay as I go along. And I just found out a few days ago that my warehouse where I'm storing all of my Amazon goods for my business, um, they got bought out by another company and their pricing is increasing by 3 or 4x and that's just not something I can afford. So, I'm going to have to remove all my inventory from the warehouse and I was going to look around for another warehouse to store it that was cheaper and within my budget but then I'm thinking well hey I got a half empty house here <laughs> why would I pay for storage when I can just bring it to the house 
So that's probably what I'm going to end up doing. Even though it's not ideal, um, I know I wanted to get the house empty, but sometimes, you know, unexpected things come up and plans change. So I think storing my inventory at the house is going to save me a whole lot of money, um, which is definitely something I can use right now. So I'm hoping to have all that inventory over here before I leave to go back home for the winter. And I'm planning on coming back to the house maybe once a month or so and ship stuff out to Amazon. So that's not really going to be a problem. Um, I've done it before, shipping out of my house. It's really pretty easy. Um, you just put shipping labels on the boxes and you schedule a pickup with UPS and they come and pick it up and it's off to Amazon. So I think this will be a much better solution for me for right now. Um, it's, I'm very thankful that I don't have to sell the house or rent it out um, because it's really coming in handy as far as storage space. <laughs> and I plan on winding down my Amazon store by the end of this year anyway. So I'm thinking it'll just be about six months of keeping the stuff here and then I'll probably just donate whatever is left over or figure out something else to get rid of it. And then I can move on to new business ventures and new exciting opportunities for earning revenue. I don't know, maybe I'll just open a quilting supply store. <laughs> Uh, my sales on eBay have been doing pretty good. Uh, I didn't know quilting supplies and fabric was this popular and in demand. Um, I've thought about designing fabric since I have a art background and graphic design experience. Um, so that's something I'm kind of bouncing around in my head for future business ideas. And I'm pretty well experienced in having goods manufactured overseas and importing them um, since I've been doing that for the past 10 years with my Amazon store. But that's way down the road um, if I ever decide to do something like that. Um, so right now I'm just kind of taking it day by day. Just trying to get through today and plan for tomorrow and that's all I'm really thinking about right now. And I'll just see where the future takes me. Okay, so I think I'm done working in the garage for today. We got the organ all cleared off, ready for somebody to come pick it up. Kind of rearranged things along the wall here. All this is stuff I'm keeping, um, except for the tack strips. So I brought in all the boxes with the glassware. These boxes are going to Habitat for Humanity. This is electronics that need to be recycled. All the fleece going to the animal shelter. Shop vac I'm going to keep. This box is just going to the donation center. And we have, I kind of lined up empty boxes here. And then I just put stuff on the shelf I'm keeping. A lot of it is just like paper and bubble wrap for shipping out the glassware. And still have all that stuff along the wall I have to take to the dump. Otherwise, the garage is starting to look like a garage again. Yay! So I have more room for my car. I can open the passenger door and the trunk. And this is the situation in the garage. So I think I'm done out here for today. And we'll see what else I got cooking. I'm still on my quest for killing all the mosquitoes in the house. I killed another one in the bathroom this morning. So I got some Sticky refills for the bottom of my thing because I forgot to bring my refills from home. 
And then I picked up this Mosquito Lure. They say if you put it inside here, it'll attract them and they'll get stuck down at the bottom. So the problem with these things is they don't attract the mosquitoes. Um, they're not attracted to this light. Um, you either need some kind of CO2 disbursement or this octanol that's supposed to attract them. So hopefully this will do the job, get the mosquitoes out of the house. Um, Cause I'm really fed up with this. <laughs> so we'll see how this works. So I think I finished unpacking all the glassware from the boxes I had brought in from the garage. So let me show you what was inside. So I just used these bookshelves that were sitting in the living room. Let me just give you an overview. So I use those shelves. All the boxes are empty. Got some stuff on the floor here. And I put some stuff on the buffet. And I put some on these shelves. So that's pretty much everything. So there's a lot of teacups and saucers. I thought that one was really pretty. It's a gold. And some saucers. I couldn't find teacups. Those are lampshades, I think. Along with those. I really don't know what any of this is worth. I need to do some research. This was a big old set. I think it's like 10 place settings from Historic America and the Rocky Mountains. Oh, I think we got the whole set here. And some red ones. And little figurines. And I'm a big fan of Hobnail. So I really like these. These are so pretty. I love the blue color. So I'm going to be keeping these. And this one I think is beautiful. So that comes apart. I just love this color. I'm going to be keeping that one. And I have some pink hobnail at home that I took from this collection when my grandmother passed away. I didn't know she had more, so I'll probably be keeping all the hobnail. Oops. I like this one with a little glass topper. Mm, I don't know about yellow. I might sell that one. And we have green and clear and white. And I found this plate that's really cool. I'm going to keep that. And I found this bowl with these little dots on it. I'm keeping that one. And it has matching plates. I thought that was cool. Very mid-century modern. So I'm going to be keeping those as well. And probably this one. That's pretty. With a little stopper. Oh, and this one. That's, that's a little starburst. It's 
It's very mid-century modern, which I'm a big fan of. Oh, an aqua fish. And I thought this was cool, like a little candy dish. Mm. And there are lots of this milk glass. We have green and a little grease bin. I think I'm keeping this. When I was cooking yesterday, I didn't have anything to put my grease in. Perfect, I'm keeping that. Uh, all these Fred Astaire glasses. I think there was a set of these. I don't know what happened to the other ones. I think those are kind of valuable. And I thought that was pretty with the gold. I probably won't keep it. And more blue. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, I found this 75th anniversary commemorative Coca-Cola bottle. And so has Coke in it. To look that up, see how much that's worth. Mm. And she had a ton of these old lamps. Here's this one. Oops. And it had little hanging crystals. Um, not quite sure how it's put together. I think it's a hanging chandelier. Um, this stuff I'll probably just donate. I don't think it's worth anything. And I found an old cigar holder. I mm, wonder if that's worth anything. Robinson's old kerosene lantern, more lamps, more lamps, and this is all Bauer. Oops, you can't see it. It's all Bauer dishware. And I found an old typewriter, Remington Portal Model 5. And some more glassware, lamps, there's a whole set of china in here. Another lamp. Oh, that was a pretty lamp. That's the shade that goes on top. Mm, that shade goes on the pink lamp. Still trying to figure out what shades go on these. And I found this thing. I don't even know what it is. Like, turn it. I'm not sure. And there's an old ketchup bottle. Like, okay. And straw holder with a copper top. 
I might keep that. I thought this was cool. I think the little lid is broken though. It's supposed to go in there. Um, I'm wondering if this is that uranium glass. Let's see, I have like one of these. Mm, I'll have to look into that. And just more china. These are glass bake. I think those are pretty sought after. And more milk glass. I know this is pretty popular on eBay. Whoops. Uh, it's pretty, but it's not something I want to keep. Like a big set of green. So oh, pretty. And this is oh, the cake stand. Coffee maker. I think it hasn't even been used. Put the cord here. And some old juicers. Put those on eBay. So that's all the glassware. And I think at this point, I've gone through everything in the house. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Um, only thing left to do is sell it or donate it or keep it. Um, there's really not much else to go through. So now it's just a matter of getting rid of the stuff and deciding what I'm going to do with it. Um, yeah, so the glassware was the last stuff to go through. And I just went through every box, pulled it all out. Uh, I put most of the empty boxes in the shed just to give myself some room in here. Um, I do want to sell the glassware on eBay because I'll probably get more money for it than if I just have a sale here at the house. But I'll just take it day by day and I think I'm just going to call it a day. And I'll see you next time.